a bomb pie, sir. Could they be in who are best over to me? Be another. May the Lord bless our sponsors. Last week we started with this uh, FM station on turning point program. Now, what you share more and then if you did so for a share, you do my dear, sir. We shared a, uh, a message with hope and anchor for your life. As some man, you can't want some necessary any that so young quani and brabo museche. We discovered the necessity of hope. If you won't hear it here, so when that so. We also discovered the qualities of hope. And also the profitability of hope. And what hope has to offer for a child of God. Today I want to continue by sharing with you hope in the valley of trouble. How, How you can turn your place of trouble to a place of hope. And we are going to study the life of the Israelites, how they lost hope. And how also they regain hope. Hope in the valley of trouble. Trouble comes our way and sometimes we don't know how to handle it. Also, trouble can come our way for many reasons. And the good news is that it's always possible for hope to be restored. And our foundational verse is Joshua chapter 7. We are studying the life of the Israelites, how they lost hope and also how they regained hope. How in the valley of trouble, God restored their hope. So from verse 1 to 10, let's consider three ways we can lose our hope. Hope in the valley of trouble. The Lord had asked me to tell someone that he said the good things in your life is about to be multiplied. And the Lord said the trouble that has come your way very soon is going to turn it to be a place of joy and peace for you. Somebody listening to me, you were not expecting that trouble, but the trouble started beginning of this week. But the Lord said, by the end of the week, I will change it for you. How can we lose hope? We are going to consider three ways we can lose hope. In this valley of trouble, when, when trouble overwhelms us, how can we regain the hope in this valley of trouble? First of all, as we consider how we can lose hope, may God grant you hope. So, number one, we can lose hope through God's action in our lives. Sometimes we lose our hope for a brief time because of what God is doing in our lives. Sometimes God is working on us and we lose hope. 
And when God is working on us and we are not careful, we don't understand him and we lose hope. So, in Joshua chapter 7, when God was working on the Israelites, through God's action, they lost hope. Thinking that their enemies have conquered them. Like David said, how long, O oh Lord, will you, will you turn your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thought and every day have sorrow in my heart? David did not know that God was working on him. Sometime through God's action, we lose hope. When God is working on us and our lives with, with with one hand do not understand God will lose hope. So now I pray that through God's action on us we will not lose hope. The second thing that causes us to lose hope is through the action of others. Sometimes when people fight against us, sometimes the people that we have helped in life, sometimes the people that have betrayed us, sometimes the people that, that, that do not understand what we are doing, they do things that we don't understand. Because of that, we lose hope. David had a, a son that betrayed him, that stood against him. And he did not understand the action of people. Beloved, people are equalizers. Sometimes people they are up, sometimes they are down. Sometimes the mood of people can cause you to be frustrated in life. So we we'll lose hope through God's action in our lives. Number two, we we'll lose hope through the action of others. The Lord is saying that very soon I will vindicate you. The Lord said, I would I will vindicate the righteous. When we get trouble, through the action of others, we get discouraged. Somebody listen to me, you have vowed not to do good to anyone again. Don't stop doing good. God is working on you through the action of God and through the action of others don't lose hope. The number three, through self-inflicted spiritual injury. Sometimes God will, will ask you go turn to the left, but you will turn to the right. The Lord told the Israelites, uh, don't serve any idol. Don't do this thing, but they did it, and because of that, they lost hope. There is a lady you know within you that the man that you are marrying now, you were not happy to marry him, but now you have done it, but you have you have regretted of marrying that man. And so why worry no? And 
But now you don't know either to divorce him. You have lost hope. Through the action, sorry, through God's action in our lives, we lose hope. Through the action of others, we lose hope. And through self inflicted spiritual injury, we lose hope. So now let's quickly consider how we can regain our hope. We are studying the life of Joshua and the Israelites. In Joshua chapter 7 from verse 1 to 10. Now through God's action they lost hope. Through the action of others, they lost hope. And through self-inflicted spiritual injury, they lost hope. Now, how can they regain their hope? We are going to consider three or four things that will help us to regain our hope. It is a principle to restore hope. So, in Joshua chapter 7, verse 10, Joshua 18, son, so the Lord said to Joshua, Get up, why do you lie this on your face? Joshua was so troubled because uh, they have lost hope. Joshua, they thought that a small nation they can conquer that nation, but they couldn't. But the small nation conquered them. Sometimes little things can conquer us because of what God wants us to do and we don't do it. The Lord said, Joshua, if my people can regain or restore their hope, why do you set your face down? Do something. And the Lord said, Israel had sinned. And they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them, for they have even taken some of the accursed things and have both stolen, uh, um, uh, stolen and deceived, and they have also put it among their own stuff. What to my papa Michelle went home ran also. Now our first that there no been a been so. Now our book chronos so. Now our six so and so. Now our dear see one dear moon so. What does this mean to us? Saying the chair tonight, the first thing that will help us to restore uh, to to restore our hope is that decide to take action. They did can't cry by my need that so about they say and was here so we need a baby. Fix the problem. Deal with the problem. Deal with your character. The Lord said Israel had sinned. They have broken the covenant that I made with them. Beloved, if you can deal with the, with your character, if you can deal with your sin, you can restore your hope. So what to me this so? Now, Bonnie, be a wood team, no, what to me share what you might hear free more. May say what need us was sano, on some as I can be. Now, sin cannot mention again in the church. They say, Quack, quack, yes, as a funny man to me, come Bonnie, any. There's too much sin in the church. I'm not Bonnie, a cost of power, sorry, free. We are not experiencing the real power of God in the church. And I'm soon to a Yakupo to me, Pano, you won't be a one if you. When Jesus entered the temple, a brother, yes, to borrow, sorry, free. He said, My house should be a a house of purity. My house will be a house of prayer. And the Bible said that the lame and the blind came to him in the temple. And he healed them. Now, 
So the house of purity. The house of prayer. And the house of power. I was saying, yeah, baby, yeah, to me, oh. But sin has taken the power from the church. Now, so bonnie, eh, you to me, no, eh, free. I saw you, no. Let's deal with the sin in our lives. Yeah, yeah, bonnie, no, yeah, yeah, we are brought bomb, no, baby. Let's deal with the sin in the church. Yeah, what, bonnie, no, what, so, no, so, yeah, yeah, no, baby. What kind of leaders are we raising in this end time? Say, say, I can inform them, pan, and tea. Yeah, page, I want it to one, yeah, 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 The Lord said, Joshua. Oh, yeah, go, pon, say, Joshua. Get up. Sorry. Why do you lie thus on your face? I didn't it means take action. As a chain is sorry, nay, baby. If you can take action, you can restore your hope. So, I bet you, yeah, yeah, be being quiet, dear. Anyone need that's why you're on them say a best abba. Turn from your wicked ways, then if you were quam bonnet, and you will restore your hope. Then I'm so bad, my was saying, and it does so be. So, that's the first principle to restore your hope. Until the decay, no, no. The number two. The second principle that will help you to restore your hope. Hope in the valley of trouble. Number one, I said decide to take action. Number two, get to the core of the problem. You see, God said, Joshua, I'm giving you this instruction. Why do the, 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 the small nation have to defeat you? My word for you, my plan for you is that no one can stand before you. But because of sin, but get to the core of the problem. Sometimes we don't deal with the problem. We try to explain the problem instead of solving the problem. But with God's help, Joshua was able to fix the problem. So take action. Get to the core of the problem. Then number three. Deal with the problem honestly before God. Tell God, Lord, this is what I have done. One time a brother came to me. I won't say a brother, a pastor came to me. That could be He said, Pastor Frank, I learned that uh, 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 last week you were talking about me. And I asked him, Who told you? And he said, This pastor came to me and told me. And I said, yes, I said it. And I said, uh, 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 I mentioned three things about you. But he came to mention two things to you, but let me add the last one to you. I didn't lie. Sometimes when we come to God, we are not Almost with the problem. But God knows it. So God told Joshua, said Joshua, let, let them take the idol from them. Let them remove the idol within them. There's an idol that you are worshipping now. It could be your time. It could be your money. It could be your beauty. And because of that, you have lost hope. A lady told a brother, he said, who are you to tell me that you marry me? Who are you? Who are you? The way the woman talked to the brother. And later, when she realized that the man has money, she regretted. Don't belittle anyone who comes your way. 
How can you regain your hope? Decide to take the action. Get to the core of the problem. By, by honestly speaking the problem before God. Then another thing that you have to consider, destroy the barrier that is keeping you from hope. God wants you to restore your hope. It's time to understand that God is still in the business of helping us to restore our hope. The Lord said, Joshua, if you can restore the hope, Take action. Get to the core of the problem. Deal with the problem honestly before me. It's time to deal with the problem. And also destroy the barrier that is keeping you from hope. There are many things that you know is, is, is limiting you not to experience the peace and the blessing of God. Then finally, how can we restore our hope? Don't rationalize what you find. You see, it's like instead of calling sin what it is, you try to hide it. I I to say Many of us don't know that there's hope for us. Like somebody asked me, said, Pastor, is there hope for the church? Let me give you four reasons why there's so hope for the church. The brother said, Pastor, this is my last church that I've come. If I don't get hope in this church, then there's nowhere that I can go. Beloved, the church cannot give you hope. It's only Jesus who can give you hope. The church is an instrument that God is using in this last day to bring hope to the world. So is there hope for the church? So, and Let me give you things to know that there's a hope for the church. Number one, there's a hope for the church if we do not forget our mandates. The church has forgotten her mandates. What God has called us to do, we are forgetting it. We have been called, have been called to preach Christ. And Christ can change lives. And Christ can turn things around. There's a hope for the church if we, if we do not forget our mandate. There's a hope for the church if we do, if we do not forget our motive. Today people are raising churches, people are planting churches because of man. I believe in money. Very soon I will talk about why God blesses us with money. There's a hope for the church if we do not forget our mission. 
Number one, our mandate. Number two, our motive. Then number three, our mission. It's my prayer that you understand that there's a hope for the church and the, there's a hope for you. So today I've shared with you how to have hope in the valley of trouble. Very soon we are going to pray for you. Wherever you are, if you have lost hope, I recommend Jesus Christ to you. I want you to give your life to Jesus. And say, Lord Jesus, this hour I need you. A lady met me this morning. Said, Pastor, I know you very well. Can you pray for me? I am so, so, so frustrated in life. And I said, my dear, I can pray for you, but the one who can solve your problem is Jesus Christ. She said, I go to church. And I said, the church cannot give you, but it's only Jesus who can give you hope. And I said, pray after my prayers. And I led her to Christ. Less than seven minutes, she said, Pastor, now I am comfortable now. And check cross it. Ah, so for afraid them in one jojo me. Whatever you are, baby, I will be a hope in the valley of trouble. how even come from us so. You can restore that hope by understanding that God is working on you by deciding to take action then get Get into the core of the problem. And deal with the problem honestly before God. Then destroy the barrier that is keeping you from hope. Tonight we are going to pray that any barrier that keep you from hope may God break it and destroy it in your life. So tonight, as you have listened to me, may the gracious hand of God be upon you. There is a man you are going through pain now. I see the hand of God healing you now. There's a man you've been having a sleepless night. The Lord said tonight is going to going to cause you to sleep well. He said, I will bless you with my peace. And the peace that passes all understanding shall fill your heart. It's time to restore hope. If you are hopeless and you are in the valley of trouble, May hope bring you out of trouble. In the name of Jesus. So I want you to pray this prayer after me. There's a brother called James. I see the Lord is healing your mind. Your mind is confused. The Lord is healing your mind right now. The same, because of what is going on, you have a heart trouble. I see something like fire flowing in your heart. The Lord, the, the Lord's hand is touching you and healing your heart right now. In the name of Jesus. There's a lady you've been having this this uh, 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 spiritual marriage. 
Ayese sun sun bibia waro. And you've lost hope. Amo ani da swasa. You've married two times. Wa wari mi enunye. And now things are not doing well in your life. Nansu se si ya meka se nyo man kwenye wabrabo. But the Lord said. Nansu wanyam kupon se. I am giving you hope. Me ma wani da swasa. I hear God saying that I am doing a new thing in your life. Me si se nyam kupon kasa wa ye bibifu frokwa wa wabrabo mo. That you wouldn't have believed it if you were told. Nanka ya kachi za wanka wu nyini. May the Lord restore your hope. Wa nyam kupon onsa enfa wani da swasa. Wherever you are. If you want to receive Jesus as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I know that I'm a sinner. Tonight, forgive me all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my King. Lord Jesus, change me. Father, thank you for hearing me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There's a lady Begin of this year, you had miscarriage. O baby, a fee infitious here, and I will point you when you send our point. The Lord said, I'm giving you new strength, and the power of the Holy Ghost will soon overshadow you. Listeners, we are ready to pray for you. Whatever you are, we want you to call us. The pastor, we are standing by. To pray for you. Tonight, the Lord's hand is coming upon you. And there's a lady, the Lord is saying that vengeance is mine. Said vengeance is mine. 